April 29th, 2023. How's it going, guys? I got another video for you. I went out for a nighttime drive. Been working on my car lately. Just wanted to kind of see if I got all the bugs out of it or not. And there were some things that I seen still here. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of funky. Now, you know, a while back, um, a lady told me that some things up at this Blue View Shopping Center, there was some stuff not on the up and up. And they got like a, I don't know if it's like a place for like parties for different things and events and stuff. And that's what you're looking at kind of here off to the left. But what I find strange about this is anytime they have anything going on, you know, I've talked about this before, just like down there at the tool shed, how they have spotters that sit across the street. You know, like I've told you that, you know, basically uh, Kansas City, Missouri Police, Jack's County Sheriff sometimes sits across, but they have their own people that sit across too. I mean, I never could understand why a bar would have people sitting a, a block away watching their her place unless they got something not on the up and up. Well, this is also another one of these places. Now, this isn't a bar. This is supposed to be for weddings and other events. But there's always vehicles off. Now, this is a little after 11, I don't know, 11, 10, 11, 15, I guess. And there was still a lot of cars over here on the other side. The front side, there wasn't as many, but there was some on the other side. I'm going to show that in a minute. But there is always vehicles setting over at this felling station across the way from there. And there's always somebody setting when there's something going on at this building over here. Always. And I just find that really odd that there, you know... If you had even security watching your place, why wouldn't you have them in your parking lot? Why would you have them setting a block away almost? I don't get that. Now I'm going to show it here. So hold on, guys. So we're going to go on up here. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm having to dim it down to show you this one vehicle. It was set right here. It's going to probably go white on me again. But it had its headlights on. And uh, it wasn't setting at the pump. Now, I've noticed vehicles sitting across the way here from this at this late at night. I don't even know if that facility's open that late. I know they close at a certain time. But uh, I have noticed vehicles, it only, even after midnight, if there was events going on, there was always vehicles sitting across the street facing towards the Blue View Shopping Center, which is weird, I think. So hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. Now, it took me, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes to go up in the Raytown area and come back. But you can see there's still a lot of vehicles setting over there. And there's, I'll go back over here. If you can see that bright light, that is still the same vehicle. Now, I go up in Raytown, it takes about, like I say, about 15 minutes. Why would there be a vehicle setting across the way from this event center. That just looks weird. And this is light. And, you know, we're talking, I know at least 11.15, maybe 11.25. I mean, I didn't look exactly at the time, but around that. I don't know. It just, not good. So then I drove around some. We have to go by the old... 7-Eleven, and of course, you know, old habits die hard. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, guys, I got the light toned down right now. Hopefully, it'll stay there. But as you can see in that same back area, 
There is a vehicle setting back there, and of course it was setting there a very, very long time. I drove around for a good another 25 minutes, and it sat there with its lights on running. So there's still stuff going on. And after I'd made about three passes, then it took off. But I also got another eye view of a few things. Now, you know, tonight, hold on. Tonight, I put out a video showing that there was another fire truck and ambulance up here by that meth recovery place in that house. Well, this is that house in that building up there. But when I was driving around, checking my car out, this vehicle that's setting here had its lights on running. And now by this time, it was probably 1125 or 1130 at night. And it's just sitting there. So like I say, I went around three different times. And in the process, there was guys standing out at the commercial building where the meth rehab place is. And I don't know, I find that odd. Almost 11.30 at night, they got some kind of deal going on that light. It didn't look like that to me. It looked kind of strange. And some of these vehicles, or some of those vehicles don't still have tags. Some have tags, some don't. Some don't have mufflers. Ha <laughs> ha. No joke. So we're going to go on up here. And we're going to darken this down here. Let's see. And you can see those guys. Like I said, it's about 11.25, 11.30. And this is, they line up massive. I mean, there'll be, I don't know, 100 people lined up down in here in line getting into that building. Now for that meth recovery but I found this odd and it, this light and some of them got some you know there was a van sitting over there white car lots and lots of these vehicles going up and down late at night and very late so hold on guys okay guys I'm back we're back to 7-eleven this is my uh, second pass. And as you can see, that truck sitting out here away from the building. So with its headlights on running. I don't know. Probably nothing. You know, I mean, it's normal to be sitting in a convenience store out in the middle of a convenience store area in a, in the, on its property for, you know, 25, 30 minutes. Not be doing anything. Yeah. Anyway, stuff's still going on up there, no doubt. And then, like I say, I found it interesting at the recovery place. They had stuff going on that late. I mean, I know there's vehicles that go in and out that place all the time for some reason. But, uh, interesting. Okay, guys, I'm back. And, uh, this was up there. This is the second time I went around. And you can see a vehicle. You can see the headlights through that fence. Even. And, uh, you know, about 11... <laughs> 40 by this time, 1140 at night. They're setting up there in vans and other cars and stuff. What are they waiting and doing? I don't know. Pretty strange. Very strange. Well, anyway, guys, just a quick little drive tonight here in Independence. Keep your eyes open and stay safe out there.